Sheriff's deputy is behind bars tonight after he was accused of stealing from a Yorba Linda home of a dead man. The sheriff says he was caught on video leaving a door unlocked and then returning several times while on duty to burglarize that home. Well, Deputy Steve Hordes is a 12-year veteran of that department. The attorney for the case provided home security camera video, which captures the deputy entering the house at least three times and leaving with stolen property. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler with the story. I thought the police always uh, the person we trust. This Yorba Linda homeowner was shocked to learn that days after his next door neighbor was found dead of natural causes in his home by this Orange County Sheriff's deputy doing a welfare check. Investigators say that same deputy returned to the man's house several times to burglarize it. It was all caught on ring camera video. This neighbor told us when the man's girlfriend returned to the house, she found the back door open and asked him to go inside with her. I asked her to go inside the house. The house, and she said that I want, uh, because I see the back door is open, so I worry about anything happen inside the house. Security tape shows 12-year sheriff's veteran Stephen Holtz entering the house, first in uniform, and deputies say he returned again at least twice more in shorts and a sweatshirt. He stole a fan, then a gun safe, a larger safe, and other items from the home. The man's neighbor told us the man was in his 70s, had lived alone in the home 40 years. He had five dogs but no children. An attorney for the estate gave the ring video to the sheriff's department yesterday. I cannot tell you how disappointed I am in the actions of uh, Mr. Reports. When he was called to the residence, it was to render aid and assistance, not to set himself up to commit further uh, crimes or to victimize that family, and we owe them an apology. The Orange County Sheriff's deputy is now here at the Orange County Jail. He's being held on a number of charges, including burglary, grand theft of a firearm, and possession of an assault rifle, felonies that could land him in prison. In Santa Ana, Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News.